Hi, Tucker kids. Hi, Cunningham kids. Hi, Collicott kids. Hi, Glover kids. Today's project is called You Rock. So, we are going to paint some positive messages on actual rocks. So the first thing that you'll need to do is collect some rocks. <laughs> so I have some here in a container. Um, I walked up and down the street that I live on to find some pretty good sized rocks. You don't want them to be too small because you won't be able to paint a message on it. You want to be able to fit at least a couple of words on the rock. Okay. So after I collected the rocks, I just washed them off a little bit. Um, here I chose two uh, rocks that I thought were really good. Um, this had like a lot of space on the side. And this one I thought was like smooth enough that I could um, paint some words on it. So the first step was I painted a background on the rock so it was all one color. And to do that, I used my paint brushes and some paints. Acrylic paint is best for this kind of project. If you don't have acrylic, tempera would be pretty much okay. You might have to do more than one layer of paint on the rock with the tempera paint. This is only one layer of acrylic, and same here. Okay. You'll also need a little bit of water to clean your brushes off, so a small bowl of water. And you'll need some things that you would like to paint on the rock. So some phrases that I wrote down were, um, you rock, uh, be awesome, be brave, and be kind. Okay, so on this one, I think I'm gonna write, uh, be awesome because there's a lot of space for me to write the word awesome and since this rock is a little smaller i think i'll just do be kind on this one so i'm going to paint the words on the rocks right now i'm going to use a little bit of blue acrylic for this one and some black acrylic for that one i'm going to move my paint over so i can make some room for myself So I already have my paint poured out right here. So I'll do Be Awesome. And after you paint the rocks with a positive message, you can leave these um, anywhere you want. You can put them somewhere in your house. You can put them outside in your yard. You can put them along the street that you live on. Um, and the whole point of it is that someone might be walking by and they'll happen to read the positive message on your rock. So be... I'm hoping it fits now. That's what I have so far. Hopefully I can fit the rest of the letters on. I think it's just going to fit. Yeah, it just fits. Be awesome. There it is, be awesome. And I think I'm going to do like a little heart down here just because I have that space. Um, oh, actually, I have some red, so I'll do the heart in red. Just trying to get the paint off my brush. Red heart. Oh, yeah. And 
voice. Be awesome. Okay, I'll put be awesome aside and do this one. And so I'm going to do black and I'm going to do be kind. I have plenty of space on this one because the words are so short. I'm going to put like a happy face instead of a heart this time. I'll do a red happy face. Small brushes are best for this because you're writing something that's very detailed. And also, on both of my rocks, I used a light color for the background, so light pink and sort of a peach, and I'm using a darker color for the words. So there's my be kind. Okay. So this is a pretty fun project. It will take you outside. You'll be able to walk around, you're looking at nature, and you're picking out rocks that you think would be good for your project. Mm -hmm. So I hope you have fun with this, and I will see you in the next video.